A bizarre series of events in a residential area captured on video has now been viewed over more than 160,000 times on Facebook. Ready? Yeah. A man upset that a car was on his property. I want that truck off my lawn. Decided to take his frustrations out on a local concrete company who was doing some work for the city nearby. The guy was just upset. You know, like he just, just, just didn't want us there. The event happened this past weekend when the man stepped out of his home and started harassing the workers of Jackson's Complete Concrete. He was about to hit the truck on his lawn when a worker told him, You're going to regret it. When the driver stopped him from breaking his light, he walked over there to the concrete truck and started breaking his lights. He hit the concrete truck and then proceeded to step into and eventually fall into the concrete that the workers were laying. It slowed us up to where we had to rework the concrete all over again. We had already smoothed it up and everything, and then he decided to walk through it. The company was there to fix part of the road, and the truck that was on the man's lawn that started the entire altercation? They come to find out it was his neighbor's truck. The Douglas County Sheriff's Office tells us he tried to slash his neighbor's tires, broke the headlights of the concrete truck, and ruined the concrete job. All the while, the workers keeping their cool and staying calm. You know, I was proud of my guys for doing that. The man caught on video and yelling out derogatory terms. When he approached me with the hammer, and I asked him what was going on. He called me a name, but I just said, well, that's all right. You know, so I just walked away from him. Is now facing some legal troubles. The Douglas County Sheriff's Office says the man is charged with criminal mischief, and he will have to pay a pretty hefty fine. But Carrie Jackson of Jackson's Complete Concrete is just happy that the man didn't take his frustrations any further. Thank God that it went, you know, calmly like it did, and it didn't escalate worse. See, that he didn't go after none of the guys with the hammer. Reporting in Omaha, Rudolph Sinaida, 3 News Now.